Couple of Tools' customized properties allow you to set your very own labels to group your test results on the Apple Tools dashboard. Let's look at an example where we'll use a customized property, we'll call it language, to group our tests for the English version and French version of a website. Here within our test code, we'll use the Apple Tools Eyes API to add our customized property. We do this by saying eyes.addProperty and passing in the label and then the value for that label. So here on line 11, we'll specify the property as language and the value for this test will be English. Then on line 20 within this other test, we'll add the language customized property again. But for this one, we'll give it the value of French, which is the same label, but with a different value. Also notice that on line five, we have set the batch or test suite so that both of these tests reside together within the same batch, search. Let's head over to the Apple Tools dashboard to see this in action. Here in our search batch, we have our two tests, search for Canon, and search for iPhone. We can group tests within this batch even further by applying one of the standard Apple Tools properties such as device or operating system. And now that we've added a custom property, we can use that as well. To do so, we click on the group by icon and then scroll down to the end. Notice our new customized property language is now an option. Click the right arrow to apply the customized property and then close the window. As you can see, our tests have now been grouped by their respective languages of either English or French using our customized property, Language. There you go. That's how you create and apply your very own customized properties to group your test results for your specific needs.